a lot of experience. And now let's get the introductions and go to this matchup. This is a 119-pound division bout. Our referee from Howell, Michigan, Jim Quigley. In the red corner, representing the South and the United States Marine Corps from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Sergio Reyes. In the blue corner, representing the West and the United States Navy from Norfolk, Virginia, Sean Fletcher. So we're set to go. It's Navy versus Marines. Inter-service battle, as we mentioned, they did box once before in the Armed Forces competition, and Reyes was the winner in that one. And we'll see, <coughs> we'll see how they do in this one. Scheduled for three, as are all amateur competitions. men have good hand speed, good combination punching. Reyes may be a smidge more power, some feel. Fletcher with some good shots, but look at Reyes pounding on the inside. He is, he can rip to the body, Reyes. Fletcher's best bet is to be on the outside. Uh, use a little lateral movement and not allow Reyes to be inside. Because this is the mistake he's making, staying inside and trying to allow Reyes to overpower him. Like he did in the first out. Mm -hmm. Reyes is the current U.S. amateur champion. He beat Lionel Odom to win that title. And then uh, beat Wayne Chandler in the finals. Good uppercut by Reyes. Both men execute some good techniques as far as body punches are concerned, combinations are concerned. And you notice here the way Fletcher goes to the body, doubles up, comes to the head. These are really our two good amateur boxers. They're setting down in their punches, throwing good punches. And this gives you a good idea of the level of this competition. I mean, these are, these are fine boxers at this tournament, always. Good right hand and a hook by Fletcher after Reyes had hit him with a right hand, a left hook. Reyes trying to duplicate a previous win over Sean Fletcher, but you can see it is not coming easy to him and won't come easy. What I see in both men now is complete concentration. They're both a focus. Great intensity here. <laughs> Big uppercut by Reyes. You gotta watch the, the body shots. The body shots are thrown by Fletcher. Everything they're throwing, Ray, people are used to seeing amateur competitions where people pity pat with their punches. Everything they're throwing is being thrown with conviction. And the key to conviction is balance. Both these men have very good balance. They turn that body, get the proper leverage behind each punch. Big right by Reyes, and you're right, they are getting leverage. Fletcher is staying on the inside with Reyes as we wind down here in what has been an action-packed first round and one pretty close, although maybe Reyes has a slight edge. I have a problem with uh, this being the first time for these judges here in the States because a lot of these guys, they don't have the hand-eye coordination of a Nintendo expert because you really <laughs> have to take your time and be up on this. Maybe they haven't played enough uh, video games. Hey. Well, and it is an interesting system and many elements of it, as we'll go on in the days of this tournament, we'll talk about it, but many elements are trying to eliminate the subjectivity of scoring. Meanwhile, Sean Fletcher and Sergio Reyes are doing their best to make this as tough on the judges as possible. They are wailing away. Well, that's one of my arguments too, Al, because these guys throw a combination, so how do you tally up each particular point or blow that lands? Well, it's tough. Hopefully, the computer system will make it more specific. We'll see. Fletcher with a good right hand. And Reyes keeps coming and lands his own overhand right. 
this is, I gotta tell you something, these first round and a half here is as intense as I've seen an amateur bout fought in a long time. I don't know if a point was taken away. It was a second caution. It's hard to tell what the referee's signal was there. It appeared to be a warning because he, he held two fingers up. The third warning, there's a deduction of points. Reyes just on top of Sean Fletcher. Reyes, as I mentioned, he is, uh, trains at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. He is in the Marines. Now a caution to Sean Fletcher for using the, the wrong portion of the glove. Boy, he's got to be saying, I, I don't have enough troubles with Reyes in front of me now to get to a free half. That me. warning now was for the use of the elbow. Oh, was it the elbow? Okay. But these guys are doing some serious punches here. Really a superb first and second round. A minute left to go in round two. Reyes has, has managed to box on the inside, which is where he wants, but it hasn't prevented Fletcher from doing good work as well. Good hook and right hand by Sean Fletcher. Stop. A point is now being deducted from Fletcher. No, from Reyes. I thought it was from Fletcher at first. For using the head, I think. Good hook by Reyes. That punch straight a little low by Sergio Reyes. Boy, this is warfare on the inside. These, these young men are really throwing a lot of good punches on the inside. The body shots by Fletcher. It also indicates these guys are in superb shape. Oh, man. Great, com great combination by Reyes. What an end to the second round. We move in to the corner of Sergio Reyes. at where the point deduction happened and uh, we'll see what the transgression was by Reyes punches landing so far nothing there I still don't see the reason for the point oh, oh, I, there it is where he brought his head into the body I guess it's about as close as you can come but who knows anyway we're in the round three the third and final round in a match that is oh so close. Sean Fletcher from the Navy in the red and from the Marines in the green. It is Sergio Reyes. Reyes, a 21-year-old, born in Fort Worth, Texas, and Sean Fletcher from East Orange, New Jersey, now stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. And talking about that warning from the referee, you're going to see a lot more of warnings during the Olympic competition because the rules and regulations are so strict and the referees, they're watching for that. Another point being deducted from Sergio Reyes. I, I guess that's for using his head, Ray. I, I can't imagine what else. I don't, I, that's the only thing I can see. I'm trying to understand it myself, Al. I noticed that uh, with Reyes, he comes in, and he, he's not bobbing and weaving, so I don't see the reason I, for it. Right, warning. which would be in amateur boxing, put your head lower than the waist of your opponent, or lower than his chest, I guess, is, is, is a no-no. If you notice here, during this uh, exchange of punches, his head is not below the waist. No, so it would be, he has a very much a walk-in style, but, uh, and it's one that is not, is kind of frowned upon by the amateur people. 
But I'll tell you what, what's happened now is he is a little timid about that, and so he's fighting from the outside, and Sean Fletcher's making the most of it, isn't he? Because as long as Rez doesn't bow in, it's to the advantage of Fletcher to outscore him. And in this instance, because of those two-point deductions, there's a low blow by Reyes. He's calling it a standing eight count. He's not acknowledging it's a low blow. Well, no, he it, he's sending him over to the corner, and he is acknowledging it's a low blow, but when a guy goes down in the amateur competition, you have to make it a standing eight count. They're now taking another point, though, away from Sergio. Reyes, he's disqualifying him because it was the third point deducted. What a, what a shame. What a shame. Sergio Reyes loses because when you have a third point deducted, you are disqualified. Yeah, guy. This is G-Money crew. And so, uh, controversy rears its head here at the boxing. And Barry, I know, of course, you've never seen any controversy in boxing. Let's go back to Barry Tompkins. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, Al. I don't know if that's a sign of things to come, but we start off on a bizarre... Points taken away for other infractions. Here's the low blow. No question, a low blow. Uh, Sean Fletcher went down. They had the, the standing eight count, mandatory eight count. That was the end of the fight because of a third point taken away. Let's get the announcements. In the 119-pound division bout, the winner by virtue of disqualification in the blue corner, Sean Fletcher. So Sean Fletcher, who had lost to Sergio Reyes in the Armed Forces competition, gets a win, but I'll tell you what, he would much rather have had it by winning the decision instead of a disqualification. We're going to get a chance to talk to both men, but first, let's go back up to Barry and Charlie. Making some a very good fight, and Sean, you won the fight, but did you want to win it that way? No, I didn't want to win it that way, you know. Me and Sergio, you know, we fought three times, you know, all three fights, close, close matches and everything, and, uh, I wanted to draw him first, you know, and finally clear the air about who's the best. So uh, I, I really don't want to tarnish victory like that. And I wanted to beat him on points. And the fight was very good, and I didn't want to see it end like that. Well, I see it bothers you because you're not as, as elated as you should be. You know, well, you know, he's a champ, you know, good world games champ and everything. Number one in the world, if you want to knock him off, you want to knock him off with your hand being raised after you. It went the full nine minutes or however it went, but I didn't want to win it by no disqualification. Sergio, how do you feel? I'm, I'm sure you're upset because it was a great fight, inside fighting. Was the referee, was he bad at calling the uh, warnings on you? I don't think he was bad, but I, you know, I feel uh, a couple of the times that my head was dropped down by my opponent, Sean Fletcher. And uh, it's disappointing for me, but uh, I know I'm going to be the man representing the United States in 1992 Olympics. That's fantastic. All right, Barry, back to you, because these guys will be in the Pan Am game.